Do you want to prevent making mistakes with your new puppy? Well then stick around because in today's video we are going to share some common new puppy owner mistakes and why you want to avoid them. Good job buddy. Tonight we're going to talk about new puppy owner mistakes. So many people are getting new puppies, whether it be an Alaska Quick High or any breed, um, you guys will, obviously, just like raising kids, you are going to make mistakes, you're going to learn from your mistakes, but the more information you have, then hopefully the less mistakes you're going to make whenever you bring home a new puppy. One of the biggest things that we do is we treat our new puppy like a human. And what I mean by that is we carry them everywhere, we want to feed them off of our plate, and we don't want to treat them like a dog or a puppy, okay? So super, super important. Yes, they're small when you first get a puppy, five pounds or less usually, at least for our puppies, and um, we want to carry them all, all the time. But then what happens is either they become spoiled and they become protective because we're always carrying them and they don't want anybody touching you guys because now they feel like they have to protect you and they don't want anyone else to take your attention away from them. So make sure you guys treat them like a dog, treat them like a puppy, let them walk on a leash and um, not treat them like a human. A lot of new puppy owners forget that the puppy needs alone time every day, every day. So one of the biggest mistakes, especially now with this pandemic, is everybody's home. So many people are working from home. So many kids are home from school. And so everyone's thinking it's the best time to get a new puppy. But what they forget is that we're home all day now and we don't give our puppy alone time. And so what happens is you wanna go out for dinner, you want to go to a birthday party, you eventually are gonna go back to work and go back to school and your puppy is going to suffer major separation anxiety. So even though we're home all day, we want to make sure our puppy has alone time. And that doesn't mean you have to leave the house, but alone time means alone in a certain area, alone in their crate, locked in a room without you guys next to them. My next tip is that we give our puppies too much free space. So we allow them to roam in too many rooms um, and not have them in a secluded area. So the general rule of thumb is if your puppy is not potty trained, if you cannot trust that puppy, they should only be introduced to one area at a time. So that means this gate's not open and they can't go in the kitchen, in the living room, in the dining room. No, if it's in the kitchen that you want them, then there's gates and pins and that's the only area they can go to. Why? Because for one, if they can have free roam, you do not have eyes on them. So you can't potty train. They're gonna get into things like toddlers. They get into everything. So we have to be able to see them. And if we can't, they have to be in an area that you know is safe for them. So the best way to do that is to only allow one area at a time. The next tip is that we forget that when we're walking our puppy, that they're pulling. Like a lot of times you're just walking, you're talking to whoever's walking with you or you're paying attention to your kids and they're riding their bikes and we forget that the puppy's just pulling us and we're allowing that. So we don't want to allow that at all and we should always correct them. And I'm talking about at eight weeks, you start now. They need to know who the boss is and who to respect. Another mistake that puppy owners make is not making sure that their collar is snug. So of course the puppies are small. A lot of times the collar we buy is too big for them or um, we buy it too big on, on purpose because they do grow so fast. And so we do not make sure that it's tight enough and your puppy can slip out of it. Okay, next um, mistake, not crate training. A lot of people don't crate train. A lot of people think it's um, cruel or that they have all the time in the world and that their dog doesn't need to be crate trained. And I'm telling you guys, that is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Definitely crate train your dog because there are going to be times when you need to put your dog in a crate. You're alone and you have to go to the vets. 
um, you need somebody to dog sit, whatever the situation is, you don't want that dog screaming at the top of their lungs because they don't know what a crate is. So crate train your dog. Next mistake people make, they feed their puppy or their adult even from your dinner table or from your plate or from your McDonald's bag. And that's a big no-no for multiple reasons. And I will tell you, I know firsthand from experience, not because of me, <laughs> but because I have a stubborn, stubborn child who doesn't obey his mother and thinks that he should spoil his dog. And now she knows exactly when it's dinner time. She bangs on her crate, she jumps over the pins, she begs, she does everything she can to get attention from us to give her more food. And what do we do? Brayden gives her more food to shut her up. So don't do that for multiple reasons, that's one. But also because our human food is not their food. Okay, so another mistake that new puppy owners make is not giving your puppy enough naps, which we kind of we kind of touched on a little bit, but specifically enough naps. So overstimulating is one thing, right? All this going on, but another is not enough naps. So make sure that your puppy has enough naps. Lots of them. New puppies will take several naps during the day for up to two hours at a time. So don't be alarmed if your puppy is sleeping a lot. That is okay, and that's a good thing. Another mistake people make is free feeding. So when I say free feeding, that means that we put out a big bowl of food and we just leave it out for them. Um, that's a big no-no with a new puppy because first of all, puppies are like toddlers, and, or not even toddlers, but newborns. Like, they don't know that their tummy's full. They don't have that sensory yet. So if you put it out, they're gonna overeat and you cannot control when they have to go potty. So it's very, very difficult to potty train. And you also will create a very picky eater. Make sure your puppy is on a tight schedule. A lot of mistakes is that we don't have our puppy on a schedule at all, let alone a tight schedule. So we're training our puppy, we're teaching our puppy. So many new things is going on, the new home, new rules, new name, pottying in a different place, all of these things. If we don't have them on a tight schedule, they are going to have accident after accident. They're not going to understand what we are asking of them. And we are going to have things chewed up, things missing, all kinds of stuff. So keep your puppy on a schedule. All right, so another mistake that a lot of families will make is that we don't use the same command um, for everyone in the house. So when you take your puppy out to go potty, it's go potty. And then when your husband takes your puppy out to go potty, they said go poop or go pee, or they don't say anything at all. And then the kids go out. So if we are not consistent and all on the same page, all we're going to do is confuse our puppy. So another mistake that a lot of new owners um, make is that they forget to trim their puppy's nails. So if you guys forget to trim your puppy's nails, they're going to get really long. And what happens if they're really long is it is not good posture for the way they stand. You're gonna see, they're gonna slip on slick surfaces. Um, their nails are gonna get stuck in your carpet or on your shoes, on your shoelaces, on your carpet, that type of thing. So make sure you trim your puppy's nails. Uh, another mistake people make is not having a budget for an emergency or having pet insurance. So remember getting a dog, any breed of dog, it's a lifelong commitment for one, right? But for two, it's also something that you guys have to plan for emergencies. So you have to have a budget for that because the last thing you want is to have something happen to your dog and you can't afford to get whatever it is that your dog needs done. The very next thing on my list was not socializing properly. And so socializing properly is not just assuming that you're socializing your puppy by taking them to your friends and your family. Um, you have to socialize them with lots of different people, strangers, um, different sounds, 
different size buildings, different sunglasses, hats. So there's so much more to socializing than just the basics. Next is bathing too much. So of course new puppies make mistakes, they potty all over, they roll in it because they're playing and we give them a lot of baths. So don't bathe them too much. So northern breeds, um, they actually will get pretty dry skin if they um, are bathed too much. And so you don't want to strip them from all of their natural oils that their skin and coat need and actually produce on their own. And so don't bathe your puppy too much. And if you do have to bathe them, just use gentle soap um, or very little soap so that way it doesn't dry them out too much. Right. Another mistake new puppy owners make is buying these amazing, super, super expensive beds to put in their puppy's crate. And I say that because as much as I love to spend, spend a lot of money on puppy stuff, um, they destroy a lot of things. And one thing that they are going to destroy, they're going to destroy their crate bed because we're working on crate training them. They don't want to be in the crate. They're going to be mad. They're going to dig at it and they're going to shred it. One of the biggest mistakes is we give too many treats as rewards. And what's going to happen is your dog is going to constantly eat the treats, not want the food. They're also going to go out there and pee, but only go a little bit or not poop and run back to you for a treat. And they're not done. But they thought that if they ran over to you after they just squatted for a minute, they're gonna get a treat. And then you bring them in the house and then they finish going pee in the house. That is my list of 20 billion mistakes that some puppy owners will make. Hopefully you guys learned a lot from that, made some notes, and hopefully you guys won't do those same mistakes with your new puppy. But thank you guys again for all the love and support, and we will see you guys next week. Until next time, bye!